students. Uh, I've had some questions on IXL um, and how to do it and how to log in and all this wonderful stuff. Um, so I'm going to show you that now. Um, so Math Every Day has some IXL practice and then you'll also see some in ELA. Um, but it's a really awesome website and so uh, I wanted to show it with you guys um, just in general. Um, so you are going to have a username and a password. Um, it might not jump to this um, sign-in screen right away for you. Um, it might, the platform gives you about like 10 minutes to just play on it without having to sign in. Um, so you can do that, but then whenever you do see this screen, or if you see it up here, um, you can log in with your information. So everyone's, um, Everyone's login is going to be first name, so like my first name is demo, last name, mine is student, and then 52, okay? And everyone's password is one, two, three, four. Sign in. So when I sign in, it should still keep me right at the same place that I was asked to be in for uh, for math. So signing in does not change anything. So I can still go through here and say, and start to answer my questions. Um, again, this was said in a previous video, um, but over here for Miss Kane is looking for the number of questions that you answer um, and your SMART score. Um, and I believe, okay, it's 15 minutes. Um, it keeps a countdown tracker for you here. Um, so I'm going to keep going. Ratio of circles to squares at five. Awesome. Um, and then I'm going to just keep on going. Um, so that's how this works. Um, so now I'm going to take you kind of on like a little tutorial of this site in general because it's actually pretty awesome. Um, so this is math and I'm in math sixth grade. Um, however, you can see here uh, fifth graders, you would just go to fifth grade uh, and it's going to bring up all your fifth grade math. And then this is everything you should learn. It looks pretty daunting. There's a lot of things here. But a lot of this stuff you might already know uh, or might not need to like multiply two fractions. Um, you could, oh, yeah, that actually might be good um, to practice. So you have all of these options here for you. It could be something that maybe you're really good at and you want to practice more. Um, it could be something that during class you weren't terribly good at and now you have some extra free time and maybe you want to um, just practice. Um, so that's math. Uh, you then also have language arts. So again, I can see these. Um, and then, this is pretty awesome, like determining main idea. You can come in here, it's going to give me a little passage, and then I can determine what the main idea is. And then it'll keep, uh, keep track of my progress. One that I was doing earlier that I really liked, where is it? Oh, analyze the meanings of figurative language. This was pretty cool. So the first part is I have to find the metaphor. Glance back in to make sure the Lincoln was still on the snowmobile and blew his warm breath into the Wolverine furnace. Parker, the fur held the warmth and made the tropical climate, the tropical climate around his face. He was comfortably warm. Lincoln was not. The short distance. Okay, so my metaphor is that it made a tropical climate around his face. So I hit submit, and then it asked me the effect of the metaphor. This is really neat. So what does it do? What is this metaphor? What is saying that it created a tropical climate around his face? What does that do for me? It contrasts the warmth of his breath to the cold weather. It illustrates Lincoln's unusual face, facial features. So I can say this, and that's pretty cool. And now I have an understanding, a better understanding of why the author uses a metaphor. So I keep going. I'm gonna not spend an entire video talking about that, but it's really neat. Uh, it also has science. So again, 
looking at all the skills uh, that you guys have for science. Um, let's just pick one from animals, let's say. But this is really cool. Ooh, get started. Stage one, answer four out of five questions correctly. Okay. Which job does the, the digestive system do? Just select all that apply. Okay. So it breaks down foods, helps cells get energy from food, helps cells get building. I'm going to go with just those two. Oh, bummer. It also, oh, I was, all right. Fair enough. Which of these can take part in the, this is probably not the best. Oh boy. All right. Well, clearly I need to brush up on my science. But if I get one wrong, uh, nope, not air. Okay, fantastic. Yay. Ooh, that's going to mean what stops food from entering the lungs. Okay, so this is science. Um, let's. Again, uh, what might be food for an animal? An animal, a plant, a fungus. Okay, let's say I got this one wrong. I got a couple wrong already. It's going to then give me a whole bunch of information that's going to help me figure out what what my answer is, what to remember, how to solve this. It's pretty cool. Um, we also have social studies moving right along here. And all of this. Brush up on your social studies knowledge would be really awesome. And then it has Spanish. You can come back and super impress Miss Monzon with all of your Spanish language that you've learned. It's basically really cool. Uh, oh, you get awards. Hold up. What are the awards? Cool. So... Practice on two days to win an origami prize. Okay. Correct answers in a row. Time spent. Days practice. Skills mastered. Oh, this is neat. And then I can collect the prizes. Okay. Well, this looks awesome. So there's so many cool things. I got math awards. Sweet. Awesome. So this is basically an overview of... Uh, this platform, it's really cool. If you were in my class when I taught fourth grade a few years ago, uh, we used this and the kids overall loved it. Um, so it is it is really cool. Um, you can use it as a brain break. You can use it kind of however you want to. Um, and it does, you can follow the links right in, um, right in here in your playlist and it'll pop you up to what your teacher wants you to practice. Um, but then if you want to spend extra time practicing, um, that is also an option that you have. Uh, hopefully this helps, um, and I hope you check this site out and use it because it's really cool, and we're very lucky right now to have it for free. So enjoy, and I will talk to you all soon. You guys are doing great. Keep it up.